what are my people man uh first thing i want to say is uh rp kobe man uh i heard his daughter was with him so rp her man rp you know the, uh, the other four people that was up in the helicopter along with him um the main reason why i'm making this video is because i've been having a lot of people just be asking me questions because they know you know what type of uh, mindset i have sometimes from certain posts and stuff that i uh, made on my channel and um one of the main questions that people want to ask me is you know, this Kobe Bryant did have anything to do with, you know, the Illuminati conspiracy and stuff like that. So, um, just my opinion uh, behind it. Like, I really don't know what happened, what went on, you know. But uh, from just me believing in that there is a force out there that's, that's trying to dictate certain things in this world. And uh, seeing the, the movements and the groups that I've discovered... Uh, just from living living life and just being aware of uh, the world that we live in, I know th these special uh, uh, mental problem having people, uh, these sick, uh, twisted minded people who are uh, trying to, you know, take over the world. You know, they got they got control issues. They're like control freaks. And one thing I do notice is when they do things, they love to put it in your face because they got a serial killer mindset. Uh, what I mean by serial killer mindset is if you ever seen a movie and when a, uh, it's a certain serial killer they got a certain mark that they leave behind and let you know that that serial killer did it you know a lot of serial killers do it they leave something behind to where you can trace it back to them um, one of the things that uh, I feel the, uh, I'm not going to call them the Illuminati because I don't know what they call it. I know that's the, the name, the title everybody gave them. Um, I do know that the um, that the KKK um, is really what people is talking about. And um, they're, they're no longer uh, walking around riding horses with, you know, hoodies over their face and, and you know, letting it be known no more. Now they, they became police officers, doctors, you know. Uh, people behind the scenes uh, and they all still had a meetings and they all still you know um, come together and come up with ideas of how can they go to the next step uh, one thing that I can say is when it comes to the symbolic world of the KKK or the Illuminati um, they love working in numbers uh, I know you oh, for the people who's awoke I know you guys heard of the 27 Club you know what I'm saying? You got the 27 Club. Uh, you got uh, people who get killed at 33. Uh, and then you got people who get killed at 41. It's uh, different numbers, different stories of multiple celebrities who got killed at a certain age. And there's like a whole list of people in that age group that had mysterious deaths or just came up missing or something happened to them. Uh, I'm not saying this is the Kobe situation. I'm just saying that that's one thing that you can mark off the list. Like... Um, just the age how he passed away around 41 uh his daughter was 13 those are both symbolic numbers on uh, the number 13 and uh 41 um another thing is the fact that you know uh it happened not even 16 hours uh after lebron james passed his record you know what i'm saying after lebron james passed his record he uh dies in a helicopter crash which you know it's a, it could be a coincidence but then you know they got commercials out there when uh, Kobe was retiring and he was just saying oh man uh, I thought retirement was going to be boring you know he's in a helicopter and he's flying over uh, some type of tornado uh, thing in the commercial something that looked like it can suck you down into it you know uh, so just like the uh, Twin Towers when they blew up you know people start finding messages on, on dollar bills and stuff to $20 bill and they also found out that it was bombs and stuff at the bottom of the towers. So it looked like the planes did it, but really it was something way more deep than that for it to have bombs placed at the bottom to go off the same exact time that the planes hit. So um, you never know in today's world, you know, you never know what the fuck to think, what's going on. But uh, just don't believe everything you see on social media. Just don't believe anything you see because the, the day that happens when people just start believing everything they see on tv that's the day that they got us that's the day where they can just start offing you know very important people you don't know what somebody's doing behind scenes or if they arrogant and they got all this money and they don't want to listen no more you know uh 
what type of mindset these these sick multi trillionaires will do to you. Um, so, you know, RP again to Kobe, and um, that's that's pretty much what I gotta say. Uh, keeping it short when it comes to my opinion on uh, was Kobe Bryant, you know, Illuminati uh, sacrifice. Um, and if that shit is true, I mean, this this world that we live in is fucked up, you know? It's fucked up. Like, they trying to control rappers who make it. They, t- they take the dumbest rappers and make them the hottest. So everybody who's smarter than them will damn near dumb themselves down on the on the rap tip because they think that's how you're supposed to rap now because this nigga got on like that. So everybody is monkey see, monkey do nowadays. So uh, it's damn near a perfect setup for somebody to come along and... Uh, manipulate everybody into a negative pattern to um so they can remain on top so y'all just do y'all research if y'all discover anything else anything about this you know let me know uh or any other type of stories and i talk about that shit too uh, i just kept this one short so just giving y'all feedback or whatever and uh y'all stay blessed out there r.i.p kobe Bryant and uh, everybody else in that helicopter uh t- today uh rest in peace